Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw with an oriental brush and Indian ink. The ink is totally black but I want a much lighter greyish tone so I set up some water, dip the brush in the ink and then in the water so as to create a light wash. I recommend having some scrap paper to hand so as to be able to test the tone before using it in the drawing. And also a tissue paper to take the excess off the brush. Very good! Now we will begin the drawing from the hair of the woman. First the top of the head and then the lower part of the hair and then the sides coming down. By the way, I hope you are well and taking much care of yourself and of your family. We draw the eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth and chin very lightly. Then we come down along the body. She will have one leg straight down, so let's draw the upper part and the lower. And the other one will be more to the side. The feet should arrive to about the same level. The dress, she will have a short dress. And her arm will be up with the hand to the side. Like so. We draw the fingers very so lightly. The other arm will be up, but with the hand behind the head. And we can now begin shading with this lighter ink, which I diluted for the sketch. By the way, good news, you can watch a long version of this tutorial in my brand new course about how to draw with ink, the basics. It is now on Skillshare and if you use the link below the video, you can get two months free on the platform to do this and any other courses you may want for free. You will be asked for a credit card, but if you cancel your membership before two months, you will not be charged anything. As you saw, I went over some parts with a little bit of a darker mix of ink, and now we are drawing some flamingos. <laughs> they are really interested in her. They are watching her dance. When they are relaxed, their neck is a bit like an S, like so. But if they raise the head, then it becomes pretty straight. There will be three on the left and two on the right. The list of materials that I am using for this drawing is in the information below the video. I made a mistake in some of the legs of the birds over here, so I lightened them up a little with a wet tissue paper and rubbing lightly. If you are using good paper, sometimes that works. <laughs> good! With a slightly darker mix of the ink, I outline some of the parts. Not all, because I want some to be a bit lost, which gives more movement. And now I grab some of the pure black ink for some accent. We will use this sparingly. I think this can create really awesome, bold, contemporary effects. And now with a darker grey, I reinforce some shadows, which I think will integrate well the lighter shading with the black. Of course by shading you represent the volume in some of the anatomy. Let's redraw these skinny legs that I erased. And finally, let's give some light shading to the face. Very good! Excelente! It's ready! Please in the comments write me how are you doing? I am a little bit concerned. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already. Don't forget checking the ink course out in Skillshare. And I will see you with more art on Tuesday.